Today we'll be looking at this 35 litre Jewel Zone Brass Monkey Fridge Freezer that I got from JCAR today, uh, here in Mackay. Some of the key points to know are the following. Uh, it has Bluetooth app control, uh, it's lightweight, small size, making the perfect portable fridge, roughly about 17 and a half kilos. It measures 600 long, 400 wide, and about 440 deep. Uh, it's fairly quiet, operates around 38 decibel, maybe a little bit quieter than that. It has an LED control panel on one end to control your temperatures and settings. Uh, it has an LED light inside the fridge for finding stuff in the dark, which I find pretty handy. It's a separated dual zone, so it has a separate fridge and freezer section. It has a USB charging port also on the control panel. It includes the AC-DC adapter, which is very handy, and also includes the cigarette socket cable. Uh, so let's turn to the box and see what it comes with. So it looks like it's packed pretty well with a stiff density foam. It's about a, roughly an inch thick, so that's pretty decent. So you're not safe and trippy in shipping. They ship it with the handle facing upwards, which is really nice. It makes it easy to get up and out of the box. Right, just get this out of the way. Get this up on the table. So this is the end of the control panel. Uh, we'll get you down here and have our closer look. Alright. So on this end here we have the USB port, the plus minus for the temperatures, the power button, by the looks of it some sort of setting button as well. We'll check that out in a minute, see what it does. Inside box. Inside the box is the 12 volt cigarette power socket. It looks like it might also convert to a Merit. Sure does. So it's got the Merit plus your standard 12 volt socket adapter. It's got the power brick and 245 power supply. So that's pretty handy that it comes with both. Down in here we've also got Fridge basket, nice and big. Freezer basket. The light is there on the end. It looks like there might be one on this end as well. Now up here it's also got a chopping board. A bit small, but might come in handy, you never know. It's pretty handy to have. Uh, the lid is also reversible, you just pop it off. Pop it down so you can switch the lid around. Very, very easy to switch. Just drop straight in like that. The handle telescopes there, the telescopic handle, which is pretty handy. You can just wheel it around. Quite like that idea. And what else we got around here? We got the other carry handle, the power plug, and everything goes this. This is one of the cool features that I got this fridge for. Uh, instead of your Dometic, um, your Wacos, your Angles, all those ones. Uh, this fridge actually has a port down this end here, I'll show you in a second. And what it actually allows you to do is put a battery pack into the fridge directly and run the fridge without it being plugged in. The reason I did that for is so in my car in the full drive, I don't need that, I can run it off the system in the back, like the dual battery system, and it'll run fine. But if we ever want to put this in the wife's car, she doesn't have a dual battery system, but I can run it as if it has one because it has its own onboard battery. So I can just plug 12 volt socket in there when the car turns on and off, the fridge will stay running all on its own. So where the port is, it's hiding down the back here. We'll get you down a little bit closer so you can see what's going on here. So down in here, remove this cover. There's a little cover inside. Just pop him loose, just pops loose. Then we grab a separate battery pack. Open him up. And this battery pack 
slides in like this, squeeze the sides, push it all the way in. And press and hold until you hear a little beep like that and you know the battery pack is now on and running. So now if we spin the fridge back around, I'll get you back up a little bit higher so you can see at this end. Just bring it on up. A little bit hard to see on the camera, but if I press this button here and beep, there we go. We have power in the fridge and it's not even plugged into anything whatsoever. So you can see the lights are sort of glowing in there. So now I've got to do set all the temperatures and everything, but I'm going to charge this battery first before I run it too far, because if it runs too far down, you'll have to use a non-supplied adapter to charge the battery pack and recover it back up and activate it again. So it's always a good idea to make sure the battery pack never runs out completely. There's the USB port hiding in there. No worries. Okay, so to set the temperatures, you press and hold the positive and negative at the same time. And you'll see that logo go forward and then backwards. It'll let you know the keypad is unlocked. And that allows you to change the fridge setting first. And then you hit the setting button and then allows you to change the freezer setting for the small section. That's it. And you just close the lid and let it come down to temperature. Okay, so to use the app, you just start scanning. And then your fridge will pop up here. And then it will load into the fridge and then you can control the fridge remotely with the app as well which was pretty handy so up here in the top you can see the left and right sections and their current temperatures below that that is your battery cutoff settings uh, so if you're running on a vehicle they recommend running it on the high setting um, if you're not using the dual battery in it Otherwise you can run it on the medium or low settings and you can drain the battery a little bit heavier. It just won't drain the vehicle battery that low. It will run on the internal battery first. Uh, the next row down is the power button to turn it on and off remotely, which is pretty handy. Uh, the next one down below that shows you the current voltage of the battery on board. It shows you the current temperature for the zone that you were looking at and then your battery percentage. So when I switch to the right zone, it will show you the right zone and current temperature for the right zone. Next one down below that is how you adjust the temperature. And then below that you have the max or economy mode. So when you change that it goes into eco mode and then back to max power. Under max power I found it went from about 22-23 degrees all the way down to freezing first in the freezer. Uh, it went down really quickly probably in about 15 minutes it went down to zero degrees in the freezer and then it will start to look after the fridge side so it prioritizes the freezer first and then the fridge which is i found a little bit interesting but i mean it makes sense uh, the next one is the child lock so you can turn the child lock on and off uh, then you got degrees in celsius and then if you want to unpair the app from the fridge itself Otherwise in there, there's min temps, max temps, I mean, you can rename the fridge if you want. Say you had two of them, you have one in the caravan, one in the car, you could tell them apart. Uh, otherwise, it is pretty self-explanatory. It's a pretty cool little app, I actually don't mind it, that way I can have the fridge in the canopy. And keep an eye on what's going on, just open the app real quick, check it out, make sure it's running properly and all good. It looks like... The battery run time on the 7.8 amp hour is not going to be too too long. I haven't done a test run yet. Uh, that'll come up in a later video where I do a bit more in-depth review after I've used it a bit. You know, give it some real world testing, see how it goes. Um, and then I'll report back with a review on how it's going and we'll check in then. No worries.